we're going to sweep that up and it's going to get caught up into the um, tornadoes, the air, the cyclones that are going around you. And I'm going to ask the angels to light up areas in your body where you are holding, anywhere that you're holding frequencies of worry or powerlessness, helplessness, hopelessness, any victimization, anywhere where you've been victimized, anywhere where there's self-punishment or self-sabotage, Anywhere that you've been um, feeling insecurities or embarrassments or shame. Anywhere where there's self-pity. I want you to gather that up. And I want it to be swept up and taken to the light. And they're saying, for those of you that are watching, just go ahead and take a deep breath in and release any energies, any heaviness in the body. Just let it go. Let it be swept up and transmuted with the light that is around you. Now, there, I'm asking spirit now to neutralize any and all victim mentalities, neutralize any victim archetypes, transmute them with light. Anywhere that they are attracting people that act like a tyrant, we want to go ahead and bring in the Christ opposites and merge them to fully complete that energy, that negative energy. Now we're gonna ask that we bring in anybody that you victimize, anybody that you, at any part in your lifetime that anybody has participated or you made agreements in or so contracts with to be a victimizer and where they have, um, played a role as a perpetrator and you have been victimized. We're going to go ahead and bring them in. And we're going to ask Spirit to cancel that contract. This is it. You're not going to do this anymore. That's it. That's it. That's it. Today, you're going to stop doing this circle of victim and victimizer, perpetrator. This energy is done. These contracts are done. This is it. We're going to ask if there's any discarnates that are attached to you guys that are keeping you stuck in the vibration of being the victim, in the vibration of feeling powerless or hopeless or helpless in any way. We're going to ask that spirit cut those cords now. Ooh, it's a lot. I feel that. It's all coming up. What is that? What is that? I see it. Okay, let's go ahead and get that out. I'm seeing some objects there and their implants. We're going to go ahead and remove the implants from you guys. Let's go ahead and take that out. Thank you so much, Spirit. And then they're going to fill in all holes, gaps, and openings from this clearing now with Emerald Light. And I see some leftover fear, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And just pluck it, take it on out. So some of you may feel some sort of chills or just, you know, I don't know, just weird sensations in the body. And this is showing that um, these are energetic shifts that are happening and taking place. So I'm going to push more rays of light into your aura and into your energetic fields. And I do see that a lot of you need grounding. So I see like little roots of leaves and just kind of like sprouting out from the ground. So they're definitely grounding a lot of you guys and pulling you back into center. Because a lot of y'all just kind of went, Ooh, you know.
So Aura says that she feels heat and warm. Amara said that she just yawned. This is good, guys. I'm telling you that, that this is a sign that there has been an energetic shift, you know? I mean, anywhere that you feel that you have to keep yourself in self-punishment. I mean, you know what? Let go of any regret. Let go of any regret, any guilt, any shame. You know, if in any way, any, any part of your life, in this lifetime, that you've hurt someone. Okay, maybe you did some candle work on someone and, and or maybe you projected some hate and anger and then maybe that boomerang effect of karma finally is coming around the, the way, you know, let's go ahead and get rid of that. You know what? It's, it's done. It's done. You know, you're, you're it's finished. There's no need for all this. Let's go ahead and wipe everything clean and start a clean slate. Yeah, it says that my chest feels cold. Okay. And I'll get to your question here in a little bit, um, Sir Don John. Okay, but let me finish this. Okay, so Yaz, uh, Yaz, you said that your chest is cold. So let me go ahead and see what's there. Okay. Yaz, what I'm seeing is there is an energetic object in your chest right now. I'm going to pull it out. Okay. It looks to me like a knife or a sword or kind of like, you know, um, kind of like when someone's stabbed in the back or stabbed in the heart. There's a lot of betrayal and heartbreak there. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to remove it. Okay. Let me know when you feel that it, that something has been pulled out. Okay. So here we go. So I'm directly going to ja to Yaz. Okay. Spirit, go ahead and go directly to her. Archangel Michael, your troops go in directly to Yaz. And let's pull that out gently. I'm going to remove any psychic cords, any psychic hooks. Uh, and I got a hold of it now. I feel my hand wrapping around it. All right, so I pulled it out. We're going to place it, just place it, don't take it to the fire. I'm going to put it in fire because I don't want that. Ooh. So I do feel a lot of stuff coming out. Spraying myself down, guys. Now I'm going to use my other spray to kind of clear my energetic field. All right, so yeah, as it may take a while for you to feel something, but just let, please let me know um, if you felt what you felt after I went in and pulled whatever was in your chest out. There's a lot of stuff coming out. It feels like a lot of goo or sluggish stuff just kind of like pouring out now. And so they're just kind of like getting all that out. We're letting it all drain out. see we'll get to the readings here in a bit guys i'm just kind of doing some clearings right now all right all right all right yes all right yeah is there yeah it's all gone i gotta tell you i was already feeling kind of some warmness and yeah it says now is warm thank you wow there you go but, you know i want to keep demonstrating how the energies um can help you uh, it doesn't have to be done in person. It's all about the intent. And I connect to my heart center and I connect to my angels and my guides to kind of help you. And so well, they're saying that they're helping with the energy flow. Oh, wait, no. The energy flow. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Raise, 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 raise that energy. Let's get them into that frequency of flow and raise. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. And you may feel, yeah. So, yeah, it says tingling all the way to my head. Yes, yeah, so we're bringing in that energy. Or it says I feel relieved a bit. Okay, we're bringing in that energy, and I was raising it up to the point where we we're clearing out your chakras from the root to the crown. So we're just kind of like, ooh, just kind of feeling um, a little bit better and maybe even a little weightless. 